Hello again, it's Nicole here. I wanted to show off my collection today and um, kind of show you the items I have and what I love. And yeah, I have people like watching these videos. I love watching these videos. It gives me an idea of things I may want to add to my collection. So I hope you enjoy it. If you don't like watching Louis Vuitton collections, just scroll on by. But yeah, for those who do, um, be sure to subscribe and thumbs up if you like it. So I'm going to show you. Uh, I just started collecting, my husband will kill me if I use that word, uh, but getting Louis Vuitton items about a year ago for my anniversary last year is when I got my first bag. I no longer have that bag. I uh, purchased it pre-loved and I liked it okay, but it ended up just not quite fitting my needs. It was the Thames and GM and I liked it, but it just, it didn't fit my needs. And so I sold it. Um, I had sold some other bags and I bought a Speedy. Uh, Speedy 30 and in Damiea Bean and I did I like that one a lot too, but I found with kids I really wished I could um, I had the bandolier so I could wear it crossbody or that I could you know carry it on my shoulder I had kind of a hard time carrying it around on my arm all the time So I sold that one too So those are two items I've had that I have since sold but this is what I have left So I will show you and kind of go through each item Here, get you a good shot of what's here um, and I will go through each one. So yeah, the lighting's a little off because it's coming through that window, but we'll do the best we can. So this one I've done before a review and a what's in my bag. This is my Sienna PM and I love this bag. This is kind of like a good alternative to a Speedy if you really want a crossbody. And I actually think it's easier to get into because of the shape. You know, Speedy's kind of turn over, but this one is very simple to get into. I might have something in it, we'll see. But yeah, so I love this bag. I bought this in Chicago last year at my unique convention, and love it. And it's great. It's I can be hands free. I can do whatever I need. It's still and it it holds up amazingly well. So I love this bag. Um, the next one. This is my Neverfull MM. I bought this last fall because I just felt like I needed one for all the traveling I have coming up. And I love this bag. It started to patina a little faster than I would have expected, but I wanted the purple, the purple lining, because <laughs> the lining makes these bags for me. I just, I love it. I want an aqua one too someday, but purple lining and I got my monogram. Uh, yeah, I love this bag. It's been great. With that, I have the pouch, the pochette that comes with it, also with the monogram. And I usually just keep it in there, but since I got my Duomo, Domo, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I've been using this inside. I would really like to get um, a mini pochette for my Domo hobo bag, but for now this is what I've been using. And then I have my delightful PM in Damier Azure with the pink lining. Um, this one I don't believe you can buy anymore in the store. I just, again, I love the linings. I think it's gorgeous. So. And this one's held up really well. I love this bag. It can fit a lot of stuff and it's super cute. And I, I just love the coated canvas and how durable it is. So I really like that. Okay, and then my next bag. I'm super graceful, guys. This is my Duomo and I got this just last week. My Hobo, it's gorgeous. I love it. It is awesome. So and this is a bag where I definitely suggest using plenty of SLGs, small leather goods, because it can be kind of a, ba a big, big pit. <laughs> it's big. There are pockets in there, but um, it's definitely one where you need to keep things organized so you can find what you need easily. And I'm getting used to zipping it up every time because most of my other bags, except for my Sienna, don't have zippers. So. I love this bag. I love how slouchy it is. It's just, it's great. So you'll notice on this handle, it kind of ripples a little bit. And that was something when I bought it, um, I had heard about. But when you carry it, like how it's supposed to be carried and the handle is pulled, it doesn't ripple. So I kind of think the ripple is a necessity just to get it to bend and stay nicely the way it's supposed to. See, when it's like this, it doesn't really ripple. It just feels like that. So. But yeah, I love the bag. The ripple doesn't really bother me because it doesn't ripple when you're holding it. So love it, love it. Then this bag, my husband bought for me for my birthday this year in Guam. And it's the favorite PM in Dami um, Abin, sorry. And I like this one. I took this one when we went to the West Indies and used it and I could carry it as a shoulder bag 
or as a crossbody, and it was fantastic. I have it stuffed right now because I feel like it got a little misshapen in my suitcase. Um, and this is kind of just bringing the shape back a little better. But yeah, I really like this one. Super cute. I had been looking at the Eva for a while, but I saw this when it came out, and I just like it so much more. So I love this bag. And I love that my husband bought it for me because he doesn't really um, love luxury <laughs> handbags. But, you know, he's he's an expensive car kind of guy. He doesn't really get the handbag thing. But he's coming around. He's getting a little more to where he can appreciate it and well, at least appreciate my enthusiasm and love for it. He still thinks it's a little silly to spend so much on a bag, which he's not wrong. But, um, yeah, it's just it's what makes me excited and happy. And unlike clothes, which you can grow out of or stop being as functional um, bags and I take a bag everywhere I go so yeah I love this bag I need a reason to use it again soon I usually use it on like date nights or if we're traveling and it's just my husband and I then I can throw it in one of my larger bags but love this bag I love that my husband got it for me too um, that was awesome so okay and then so those are my five bags and the little pochette then my SLGs I've got the small cosmetic bag that I take, I can, I put this in every one of my bags except for my favorite. Um, it's got, you know, my essentials in it, my lip gloss, some powder foundation. Sometimes my inhaler will go in here. Feminine products will go in here. I love this bag. Or I'll put pens in here too. I need to get a, a pen case, but I like that I don't have to worry about it marking up my bag and I can wipe up pretty much anything that gets in here. And then this is my wallet. This is the Clements. I love the color and I hadn't realized it but the checkbook fits perfectly in there I've been looking at getting a checkbook holder but it fits in my wallet and zips right up in there so I love that I can keep it all together but I love this wallet it's nice and small but it fits everything so it's it's great I love the color got this in January when I was in California at Pelican Hill so love this one and then I bought this when we were in Hawaii Last November, I was we were right next to the um, Louis Vuitton at the Hilton, and I decided I just wanted to get something, and so I got this. I uh, I actually use it quite a bit. I did have keys on it before, but I took my key off, and now I just put um, oh random cards in there, and I have band aids, and I put my change in there. So, but this can go in any bag too, and I really like it. And I actually really really like this with. My favorite. I would like to get one of these in Damier Bean and Damier Zor too. That's on my wish list. I don't have that yet. Someday, I've got to have things to collect, right? And then this is my Zippy uh, multi cart. And while I don't actually use it a ton, I want to always keep it with me because that's what I put like all my loyalty cards or coupons in or just extra cards I don't want to carry in my wallet because they take up a lot of space or business cards. But I really like having them in here. There's, you know, they're the thing that when you need them, it's a pain not to have them. So it's been nice to have this and keep them all organized and just know it's in my my handbag if I need it. And then my last SLG, yes, is my um, four four key holder. And so I put my my gym pass in there and my car key in there. The key fob stays out because it's a little big. If I got a six ring holder it may work but I I didn't <laughs> I don't carry many keys I have this and I need to put a house key in there and that's really all I need so I want to keep my bag safe um, I need to get a little I'm gonna get rid of this big ring that this is on and get a chain so it'll fit in here better but yeah I really like it it's fun so this is my collection I'll show you again and I love it. It's, you know, it's a year old. I haven't done too bad for a year. <laughs> um, there's a few things I want to add over time, but all of these I think are all keepers. I don't plan to get rid or sell any of these items because they're all things I use and love. And, you know, there's a few little things here and there I'd love to, uh, love to add to it. I love SLGs because they're not quite the investment, but they're still kind of the fun, exciting. I, I love this thing. But anyway, so most... Let's see, the only items I bought pre-loved were the cosmetic case and the Jomo. Jomo. The rest were either ordered online or purchased in a store. So I had a few more pre-loved, but like I said, I sold those because I found I wasn't using them. Someday I'd like to get a speedy uh, bandolier 
just because it's a classic. And I would love to add some of the key ball. Is it key ball? The carry all? I forget. Key ball, I think, is the luggage. I would love to get that in the Dami Avene as well, but not, not at the moment. For now, this is what I have, and I'm pretty excited about it. I love it. Um, have a lot of fun with it. And yeah, that's just, that's my collection. I would love to see yours. If you've done a collection video or if you have pictures on Instagram, I would love for you to share those in the comments. And I will be posting this on Instagram as well. Life is Nicole and Nicole has an H in it. And yeah, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe and I'd love to see more of what you have and uh, please share that with me in the comments. Thank you.